Good afternoon, my name is Nicholas Perrin, the founder of Authentic Freedom Now. And this week's topic is on how can I connect to inspiration and how can I bring that into every moment of my life. Now I'm not sure about you, but I've definitely had those times, those mornings when I've woken up and I've felt completely demotivated or flat or looked at the day and it's gone, oh, it's just going to be one of those days. Now I'm not sure if that happens to you once in a blue moon or if that happens every single day, but that was something that I experienced a lot of, especially at the beginning of my journey about six years ago. So the, the purpose of this five minute little video is to support you in being able to connect to your inspiration and how to really set your day up in a really positive, constructive way so that you really maximize the value and that you really get the maximum amount of enjoyment and fun out of it because at the end of the day we're here to have fun and to learn and to be ourselves. So first of all, what is inspiration? So inspiration literally means in spirit. So when we are connecting into that heart space, when we're connecting into that feeling space, we are one with the, with the zero point field or that divine intelligence, we are connected to inspiration. And you may be familiar with some forms of inspiration, some very creative ideas, or perhaps you've experienced uh, problems in your life and you've been pondering over those problems and you've received an idea. Now those ideas come to you in the form of inspiration. So why is it important to connect to inspiration? When we are connected to inspiration, there is truly nothing that we can't achieve in our life. We are one with all that exists. Now the truth is that for every single problem that already exists out in the, in, in the world, and every problem that you are currently facing in your life, there is already a solution that is out there. So why is it important to connect to inspiration? Because when we connect to inspiration, we allow ourselves to, to connect to the solutions to our problems and to be able to move forward in life. When we move forward in life, we expand, we grow, we become a more fuller person. We have a deeper remembering of who we truly are. So the golden nugget for you today is, well, how do you actually do that? And at the end of the day, a good idea is great, but it's only as valuable as it can actually be implemented. So this is my recommendation. The first thing that you do in the morning is you connect to inspiration. The first thing, don't do anything else. Just get up in your bed and follow this. So close your eyes and place your awareness in your body. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Since we've placed our awareness on the breathing and we've made a decision to be in the body, not in the mind, we are already accessing what's called a theta brainwave state. And the theta brainwave state is accessing other aspects of who we are. When we're in our head, thinking, that's in the beta and alpha states. As soon as we're dropping into a slower rhythm, into the theta, and even sometimes in the delta state, we're accessing a much larger aspect of who we truly are. So once we've calmed down and we're, our awareness is in the body, we're in the present moment, all we're focusing on is in the now. If you don't know how to place your awareness in the body, put your attention in your feet. And just focus on that in the beginning. Once you've done that, it's really important to actually make a wholehearted decision. And what we're going to do is make a command. So the command goes like this. Infinite intelligence, or higher self, or true self, or creator, or even life, it is commanded that I am now wholly and fully present in my I am presence, and that I am now connected to inspiration all aspects of my being now shine through me. Thank you, it is now done. Once we've made the command, we've now made a wholehearted decision that that is the experience we choose. Do this with your eyes closed. Continue to breathe and then while you're breathing, 
I want you to visualize what it would feel like. Imagine what it would feel like, look like, taste like, hear like, to be in, in your inspiration. I want you to imagine that there's white light moving through from the top of your head all the way down to the bottom of your feet moving into the earth. I want you just to, to continue to imagine this beautiful pearly white light moving through your body. And as you do that, you'll notice how you feel. You'll feel lighter, you'll feel energy, you'll feel connection, you'll feel joy, you'll feel passion and purpose. And as soon as you feel that, then you know that you've connected into inspiration. My recommendation is to actually set an intention once you're in that space, which is, I choose to come from inspiration from moment to moment in my day. When I'm connecting with people, I choose to come from inspiration. When I'm meeting with others, I choose to serve. Serve them, serve myself, to be connected. So hopefully that's really supported you in getting some clarity on how you can actually be in inspiration and how to really set up your day so that you don't really have those I've woken up on the wrong side of my bed moments. The truth is, is that we can consciously choose the states that we want to be in. And what I have to share with you now is a very powerful way of doing that and it may take some practice. So perseverance is the key. So until next time, keep connecting to your inspiration, be authentic and real and stay connected to yourself. I look forward to connecting with you soon.